This is my review. <laughs> of Split. Hey everybody, welcome back to Drinks in a Movie. Chris Hampker back with you. I know it's been a while since I put a review up, but I'm back and today we'll be talking about Split. But first, let's start with the drink. And the drink I'm gonna make is called the Schizophrenic Squirrel. I don't know why it's called that. Uh, and look, for all you uh, uh, mental disorder experts out there, I know uh, Split's about split personality and schizophrenia is not that. Uh, the movie's about dissociative identity disorder. I know they're two separate things, but um, this drink will cause some, you know, mental breakdowns because it is strong. So let's uh, get to the drink. So the drink is pretty much one part of everything put into a mixer, shaken up and poured over ice. So one part coconut uh, liqueur, one part blue curacao, one part white rum, one part amaretto, one part lime juice, shake it up and then put one part club soda in at the end, pour over ice and enjoy. So let's make this drink. One. So, Split is written and directed by M. Night Shyamalan of the Sixth Sense and Unbreakable fame and signs. One. And he, uh, and uh, this movie stars James McAvoy uh, and Anya Taylor-Joy, and it is about a man with personality, multiple personalities and the dastardly things he can do. Now, M. Night Shyamalan has been clawing his way back to uh, uh, you know the good graces of the public eye, and since last year's or two years ago, he did the visit, and now this year's split, he is really getting back to form. And I gotta say, this movie is pretty great. Uh, but the movie does uh, rely heavily on its lead and luckily they picked an actor like James McAvoy who is dynamic who is wonderful um, and he is amazing in this movie and let's shake this up let's shake these personalities up there's a lot of liquor in here all right we got that done I'm gonna put a little club soda in the bottom here and then There we go. There is our schizophrenic squirrel. Let's see how this is. Pretty good. So like I said, James McAvoy is magnetic in this film. His character has a total of 23 distinct personalities, and I think we only get to see around seven of them, but every one that he created has its own personality, its own eccentricities, and he really does carry this movie. He is wonderful. But I don't want to, you know, uh, put aside uh, the other main character, Anya Taylor-Joy's character, who is one of the girls he kidnaps. Uh, her character, uh, she, her acting is also very good. And she has a kind of, you know, tragic and, and, and sad arc in this movie. And uh, she is just as important as he is. And she plays very well off of him. Now, the third star of this film is M. Night Shyamalan himself. He is truly back on track with his writing and directing. He really is the master of the slow burn, which made him, you know, this kind of filmmaking, which is so specific. Every shot, every camera movement has a purpose. Uh, and, uh, and it was just the kind of thing that made him famous all the way back when he did The Sixth Sense, Unbreakable, and Signs, like I mentioned earlier. I mean, he really is back on form, and I think uh, this movie is just, uh, just a lot of fun. The one main criticism I have of this uh, is that the movie is less really suspenseful than it is interesting. I thought it was very interesting, the, the different personalities, especially the interaction between McAvoy's character and his psychiatrist played by Betty Buckley. Those scenes were amazing and really excellent and just as good as the suspense scenes with the kidnapped girls. Now this is where the movie gets tricky. 
Uh, Shyamalan requires the audience to suspend its disbelief a little farther than normal in movies like this. Toward the end of the film, Shyamalan is almost entering a sort of campy territory with the evolution of McAvoy's character. In the third act, uh, things start happening, and I started sitting there wondering two things. One, how is this all going to wrap up? And two, what is the twist going to be? And unfortunately, that's the catch-22 in Shyamalan films, where I'm sitting there trying to work out scenarios as to what the twist is, how how things are going to how things are going to work out but Having said that, the end of this movie really, really did surprise me in a way I did not expect at all. Now this is not hyperbole. The last 60 seconds of this film really did change the way I saw the movie and made me see it in an entirely different light. Now I'm not trying to trick people into going out and seeing this movie. Um, and, and it's not even a twist, it's more of a, a reveal, but this reveal uh, does change the, the aspect of the film in such a way that I, the other problems I have with the movie kind of disappear and I go, oh, okay, I, I get it now, I see what you're going for. And that, that to me, I, I can't remember an instance of that happening. Look, just go see the movie. I don't want to spoil it for anybody because the ending does really elevate it. That last 60 seconds really gives you that punch that, that makes it just a better movie all the way around. I'm giving this movie four out of five drinks. I really enjoyed this movie. Go check it out. Uh, it's, it's, it's Shyamalan is back. If you like his movies, you're really going to like this. Thanks, everybody, for joining me. Let me know what your favorite Shyamalan movie is. Um, I'm, I'm honestly not sure what mine is. I think mine is Unbreakable, but uh, Sixth Sense is pretty amazing. So let me know that in the comments comments. If you like this, please like, share, and subscribe down here at the bottom. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a drink on me. Thanks, guys.